Hey everybody, Mr. Wolf here, and I'm going to go ahead and explain a movement that we did in our PE live class last week. Those of you that went to the live class, good job. You are ahead of the game. You're ahead of schedule. Way to go. Awesome job. Now, I wanted to make a video about lunges, which is the exercise we did last week, because I want to make sure that everybody at Fortune School has the opportunity to learn how to move. Now with that, please try to come into the class if you can. There's a lot of stuff that we are learning in there, not just ways to move, but things like nutrition and the way our bodies work. Uh, last week we talked about allergies. The week before that we talked about protein. So there's a lot of uh, good information being shared in the class, not just with movements. Now movements is a component of it. But, um, like I said, try to come in if you can, because I think it would be beneficial to you. Now, a lunge. I'm going to go ahead and show you what a lunge looks like, but when I stand up, I'm going to say three things that I want us to focus on. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look up. Okay, when we do this, we don't want to be looking down at the ground. We want to be looking up. Okay. Now, a lunge is really good for your balance. It's really good for your leg strength. Okay, so balancing is going to be an issue. So how are we going to balance? Well, I'm going to tell everyone to keep their hands on their hips. Okay, that's a great way to balance. A lot of scholars, when they do a lunge, they put their hands on their thighs. No, no. Hands on your hips for good balance. Okay. And then the last thing. So what was it? The first thing I said was look up. The second thing I said, hands were on the hips. The third thing is we're going to drop our knee. and But no knees touch the ground, okay? So I have my hand on my hips, and I'm looking up. Okay, I found some uh, a picture on the wall that I want to focus on because I want to have maximum balance. So I'm going to focus on the picture on the wall right here so I don't lose my balance, okay? And I'm going to really zone in on that picture so I don't lose my balance. Now, I have my hands on my hips. I'm looking up. I take a step forward with my right leg. I drop my left knee close to the ground, lift it back up, bring my right leg back to normal. Now I take a step with my left leg and back down. I'm looking up. I'm looking at that picture on my wall because I do not want to lose my balance. I have my hands on my hips. I'm going right leg to left leg. I'm staying on an island, as I like to call it. I'm not walking. I'm not taking any steps backward except for the step that I take step forward with. No one should ever take a step backward. What do I mean? This is what I mean. Some people take a step backwards, and then they bend their knees. Bad form. You always want to take a step forward. Let me go fix my mouse here. Take a step forward. Bend your knee. Back up. Now it's really hard for some people to balance. That's why I say pick something on the wall. Focus. Have your hands on your hips. My knee accidentally touched the ground. Not okay. If your knee touches the ground, just correct it. Don't go so low next time. And this is going to make you a better jumper, a faster runner and a better balancer. So with that, keep going for a little bit longer. I'm going to go ahead and end the video a little, a little, you know, a little early. But go ahead, practice your lunges. It's a good exercise to do. Good for balance, good for your leg strength. And yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead and dojo message me. Other than that, have a great rest of your day. See ya.